Ever wondered about the new M3 MacBook Pro? How does it measure up to its predecessors? Let's dive in. Apple's recent silicon transition represents a significant shift in the technological landscape. The company made an audacious move away from Intel processors, choosing instead to develop its own M-series chips. This was no small feat, and its impact on the Mac lineup has been substantial. The transition is a testament to Apple's innovative spirit and its commitment to control the primary technologies behind its products. This bold move is not just about stepping away from Intel. It's a statement about Apple's vision for the future of computing, a future where Apple designs the entire tech stack, from the silicon up to the software. But what does this mean for the tech industry? Well, it's disruptive, to say the least. Apple has broken the typical innovation arc, setting a new precedent for tech giants. Instead of relying on outside vendors for critical components, Apple decided to take matters into their own hands. And the result? A line of chips that are not only powerful but also efficient, offering superior performance without the usual trade-offs. The M-series chips starting from the M1 have already shown us what Apple is capable of when it comes to chip design. With each iteration, Apple pushes the boundaries even further, and the M3 is no exception. It promises to take the Mac experience to new heights, offering users more speed, more power, and more possibilities. This transition has not only changed the game for Apple, but also for the entire tech industry. It has shown us that sometimes to move forward, you have to take a step back and rethink the way things are done. It's a reminder that innovation is not just about making improvements, but also about challenging the status quo and taking risks. The M-Series has certainly made a mark, but what makes the M3 stand out? Let's find out. The M3 chip is the new player in the game. What's its secret? Welcome to the future of Apple's silicon architecture. Apple has just introduced the M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chips. These aren't your run-of-the-mill upgrades. Oh no, these are game changers, all built on the cutting-edge 3 nanometer architecture. Let's break this down. The M3 chip, the base model, is a powerhouse in its own right. But Apple didn't stop there. They introduced the M3 Pro and M3 Max to cater to an audience that craves raw power. These chips are designed to deliver unprecedented performance. The 3 nanometer architecture is a big deal. This smaller architecture allows for more transistors to be packed into the same space, which in turn means more processing power. It's a leap forward in technology and it's paving the way for a new era of performance in Apple's Mac lineup. Now here's where it gets interesting. Apple's commitment to pushing performance boundaries is clear. They're not just content with making incremental improvements, and they're challenging the status quo, reinventing what's possible with their in-house designed chips. These M3 chips are more than just a technical marvel. They represent Apple's vision for the future of computing. It's a future where Apple's Macs are faster, more efficient, and more powerful than ever before. And what about the impact on the tech industry? Well, it's nothing short of disruptive. Apple's transition from Intel processors to their own M-series chips has shaken up the industry's typical innovation arc. It's a bold move, one that's setting new standards and raising the bar for what's possible in a personal computer. The M3 chips are a testament to Apple's relentless pursuit of innovation. They're a bold statement, a clear signal that Apple isn't just playing the game, they're changing it. And the best part? This is just the beginning. With such power under the hood, how does it translate to the new MacBook Pro models? Well, that's a story for our next chapter. Stay tuned because things are about to get even more exciting. The new MacBook Pro models are here and they're more powerful than ever. Apple has pulled back the curtain on their latest offerings, the updated 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. These are not just any ordinary laptops, they're the titans of the tech universe, powered by the groundbreaking M3 chips. These chips, built on three nanometer architecture, are Apple's secret source. They're the heart and soul of these machines, driving them to perform at heights previously thought unreachable. They've set a new standard, breaking barriers in the tech world and redefining what we can expect from our devices. Let's delve a bit deeper into the specifics. One feature that stands out is mesh shading. 
This advanced method of rendering allows for more detailed and realistic graphics, making your gaming or designing experience smoother and more immersive. It's like having your own personal IMAX theater right on your laptop, but the innovation doesn't stop there. Apple has also introduced Hardware Accelerated Ray Tracing. This technology, once exclusive to high-end gaming consoles and workstations, is now available on your MacBook Pro. It takes graphical representation to a whole new level, creating lifelike images and animations that will make your jaw drop. These new features aren't just about making things look pretty. They're about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, about raising the bar and then smashing right through it. They're about giving you the tools to create, to innovate, to make your mark on the world. And the M3 chips don't just bring improved performance. They also offer enhanced efficiency, meaning your MacBook Pro will stay cooler and run longer, even when you're pushing it to its limits. But it's not all about power. Apple has surprised us with some design updates, too. Aesthetic appeal is an integral part of Apple's allure. What's new with the MacBook Pro design? Well, Apple certainly knows how to keep us on our toes, and this time they've done it with a new matte black MacBook Pro. This isn't just any black. It's a deep, rich black that absorbs light and catches the eye. It's a bold departure from their traditional silver and space gray offerings, and it's already turning heads in the tech community. This new shade isn't just for show, though. It's also a nod to the enthusiasts, the creators, and the innovators who demand not only performance, but also a unique aesthetic from their devices. This matte black MacBook Pro is a testament to Apple's commitment to pushing boundaries, not just in terms of chip performance, but in design as well. While the design is impressive, the connectivity options remain a topic of discussion. Connectivity is key. How does the new MacBook Pro fare in this department? Now, let's take a moment to discuss the new MacBook Pro's connectivity options. While Apple has made significant strides in performance and design, they've decided to hold on to lightning connectors for accessories. This is an interesting choice considering the tech industry's broader shift towards USB-C. USB-C offers a universal standard with faster data transfer speeds and the ability to handle more power for charging. It's a one-size-fits-all solution that simplifies the user experience. Yet, Apple continues to place bets on their proprietary lightning connectors, leaving us wondering when they'll make the leap to USB-C. Perhaps it's a strategic move to keep users within their ecosystem, or they're working on a solution that's uniquely Apple. Either way, the question remains, when will Apple transition to USB-C? With all this power and design, who exactly is the target audience for the new MacBook Pro? Not all upgrades are for everyone. Who stands to benefit the most from the new M3 MacBook Pro? Let's delve into that. While every tech enthusiast might appreciate the latest and greatest, the M3 MacBook Pro is tailored for those who truly push their machines to the limit. Think about video editors rendering high-resolution footage, 3D artists creating intricate models, or data scientists crunching massive data sets. The M3 chips especially the M3 Max with its 128 gigabytes of unified memory, are designed to handle such intensive tasks seamlessly. If you're already on an M1 or M2 Mac, you might not feel the need to upgrade unless your current machine is struggling to keep up with your workflow. But if you're all about performance, the M3 MacBook Pro is a beast waiting to be unleashed. So that's a wrap on the new M3 MacBook Pro. It's powerful, it's sleek, and it's perfect for power users. Before we wrap up, there's one more thing that impressed us. You see, Apple doesn't just excel in creating groundbreaking tech. They also know how to showcase it in style. Would you believe that the entire Apple keynote was shot on an iPhone? Yes, you heard it right, an iPhone. This revelation underlines Apple's confidence in their own products. And it's quite a testament to the iPhone's capabilities. The keynote's production quality was top-notch, with crystal-clear visuals and seamless transitions that kept us captivated. It's a bold move that breaks away from traditional event productions, and it's undeniably Apple. They've proven once again that they are not just pioneers in technology, but also in its presentation. So there you have it. The M3 MacBook Pro. 
power, performance, and a testament to Apple's continuous innovation.